So you guys know all too well about my fascination with my iPad Pro and the reason why I keep creating these types of videos is because I want to teach you guys some new things, you know, just do a bit of skill sharing. Working on an iPad is new, it's unique, and it's an effective way to get creative work done. And I just want to share how I use it in my workflow and how I use it to adapt and evolve as a producer behind the scenes. So with that said, if you want to see any specific videos on the iPad or my workflow, like a tutorial or something like that, be sure to let me know in the comments box down below. As for today though, we're actually going to be talking about five of my favorite apps that I actually use to bring all of my work together and think you guys will find helpful too. What is up my friends? It's Ray back here and today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite apps that I use on the daily to create content. Now we talked about my workflow. I did some tutorials and now it is time to talk about the software behind the process that pulls everything together. These are some powerful tools that I think any video producer, content creator, or creative person who's just looking to make the jump to the iPad life is going to find helpful. So without further ado, let's get right into this. First up, you guys probably saw this one coming from a mile away is LumaFusion. This is without a doubt my favorite app that is out right now and for good reason. Luma is as close as you can get to having Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro on your iPhone or iPad. It offers six audio and six video tracks, color correction tools, chroma key tools, keyframes, endless effects, transitions, and just so many more features that I'd be here for hours going through them all. Basically anything that you can do in a professional video editor like Premiere or Final Cut you can do in LumaFusion. Best of all, the experience is incredibly fluid. No matter how many layers of 4K video you stack on top of each other or no matter how many effects you apply to your video clips, the app is going to play back your footage seamlessly without issue. That's how powerful of a tool LumaFusion is on the iPad Pro. Mobile video production is no doubt the future and LumaFusion is a groundbreaking app that brings that future closer to reality. Next up is Affinity Photo. Now, just like how LumaFusion is as close as you can get to Premiere or Final Cut on your iPad, Affinity Photo is as close as you can get to Photoshop on your iPad. This is a professional creative tool that's fast, powerful, and precise for editing and manipulating images. In many ways, it is very similar to Photoshop. What's really nice here is that if you already work in Photoshop and have lots of PSD files, Affinity Photo will open those projects right up without issue so you can get right into editing your projects where you left off. If you store your PSD files in iCloud, this actually makes working between the two nice and seamless. So there's just a little pro tip. Up next, we have OneNote. OneNote is a fantastic note-taking app that offers a whole lot of features for the low, low price of free. Think of this as kind of like Word, but for organized note-taking. A fun little fact that you guys probably didn't know is that all of my videos that you see here on my channel are scripted out in OneNote prior to me filming them. And yes, that does even include the video that you're watching here right now. Another major plus with this app is that everything syncs to the cloud, so if I make edits on my iPad, I can continue on my Mac or my phone and vice versa. OneNote also comes in handy a lot for me when I upload videos on my Mac and I need to copy and paste video descriptions or titles that I wrote out on my iPad or on my iPhone. If you're looking for a great scripting tool or just a great note taker, OneNote is definitely the way to go. Moving on forward, next we have Procreate. If you're familiar with anything iPad or Apple Pencil, you are probably familiar with Procreate. You probably have heard of it before. This is by far the most advanced and intuitive digital illustration app out there. In fact, it's actually probably the most popular drawing app of all time. I'm not a professional artist by any means, but I have been dabbling in Procreate and I just really, really love it. It's simple, it's easy, and I am determined to learn it and just get better at it. When I was growing up, I used to draw a ton. I actually have stacks of video game character drawings that I honestly think aren't too bad. I look at them now and I'm like, wow, these are really good. Procreate isn't a huge part of my workflow just yet, but I have a feeling that one day it really is going to be, especially for graphics and just just like doodling around and drawing things like I feel like I can make some really cool stuff in here. 
And finally, last but not least, we have Adobe Lightroom CC. When I'm in need of a quick photo edit or want to polish up the colors on a shot that I just took, this is the app that I open right up. Not only is Lightroom quick and efficient, but it also produces some of the best quality results that I've ever seen from a mobile photo editor. I mean, to brag a little bit and show some examples, just take a look at my Instagram feed. Almost all the photos that I post on there have been processed through Lightroom prior to me uploading them to Instagram. I know I'm such a perfectionist, such a millennial, such a hipster, but you know, I like to have a poppy and like interesting feed that just like stands out a bit. On top of it all, this is a free app and you only need to pay if you want the Adobe Cloud features. I can't help but recommend Lightroom. It is such a phenomenal app. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. Five of my favorite apps that I use daily to get work done on my iPad. If you were to tell me five years ago that I would be producing content on something like this, I would have called you crazy, but here we are. So I wanna know what some of your favorite apps are. Do you use any of them that are on this list? Do you have any others that you think are better or that you find more useful and effective? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments box down below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.